How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Grant. Today I'm going to go through the new features of the Premiere Pro September update or the Premiere Pro version 14.4 update. So let's go through it. So the first feature is scene edit detection. So as you can see, I have a short film that I made in my timeline. Now, if I want Premiere Pro to automatically add edit points at every cut in my short film, all I have to do is right click, come over to scene edit detection. We now have three options, apply a cut at each detected edit point, create a bin of sub clips from each detected cut point and create a marker from each cut point. I'm going to select all three to show you what they can do. This is a CPU, GPU and RAM intensive process. So depending on the computer you have, it may take a bit of time for it to actually analyze the clips. As you can see, Premiere Pro has made a cut within my clip where there is a cut within my film and also placed a marker at each edit point or each cut also. <laughs> Premiere Pro has automatically made a bin and inside the bin is all the sub clips of where there is an edit point or a cut in my clip in the timeline. Another feature which I think is very handy is you can now export with proxies. So let me come over to my export tab. Let me just in, out, come over to my export tab. Now, as you can see here, we have use proxies. If you've already created proxies within your project and you want a quick export and resolution or quality doesn't really mean that much to you at the moment then select use proxies if you want an even quicker export and you've generated previews within your timeline then select use previews and premiere pro will export the previews and proxies a lot quicker that's a quick explanation of the new features which i feel will be the most used in this new premiere pro update my name is jermaine grant subscribe for more tutorial and filmmaking content and i'll see you again very soon take care goodbye